<sighs> Before this video starts, disclaimer, Ray Allen is at least top 10 in his position um, all time. And I love Ray Allen. He's a great, great, great basketball player. Um, now let's get to this video. Now we've all seen this shot from me many, many times. We already know what series it's from. But for some people to say this shot saved LeBron James' legacy, I feel like that's the biggest like stretch I've ever heard in NBA history. Reason why I say that is because LeBron in Game 6 played amazing. I mean, let's go check out the stats. LeBron dropped a 32-point triple-double. Um, Chris Bosh had a 10-point double-double with 10 and 11. D-Wade dropped 14 points. Mike Miller had 7 rebounds. Ray Allen had 9 points, 2 assists, and 1... I mean, yeah, 2 assists and 1 rebound. Now, now that 9 points that he got was amazing. That that shot in the corner was amazing. It came off of LeBron miss. It also came off of uh, a great rebounder. Once LeBron missed, Chris Bosh got the rebound, and the rest is history in Game 6. But you see, my problem with it is the narrative behind it. People think that LeBron just had this terrible Game 6, and when he didn't have a terrible Game 6, I mean, a 32-point triple doubles in the NBA Finals in Game 6 – Win, lose, or draw is a great game, like, individually. Like, you can't say LeBron had a bad game if he lost game six or won game six. Ray Allen hit a big shot. LeBron played well that entire doggone game. He literally did everything. If they did lose this game, like, they would just have lost. And let's also look at some of that. Another thing that doesn't get talked about about this game six is that Tim Duncan – as old as he was at this time, he dropped 30 points and 17 rebounds. A young Kawhi Leonard had 22 and 11. Tony Parker gave them 19 and 8. Like, so to sit up here and act like that this series would have been, you know, like LeBron had to play terrible or lost to a terrible team is laughable. And it's crazy because to me, I feel like people kind of overvalue the shot because, yes, that shot Ray Allen hit helps them go to a game seven. Yes, it definitely does, and I'm glad that he made that shot to make them go to game seven. But if the Miami Heat lose game seven, does this shot really get talked about enough as it does if the Heat lose this series? Because, yes, it was a big shot. And yes, it was legendary. And yes, it all lives in our minds. Yes, as NBA fans. But ask yourself, would it have really had matter at the end of the day if they hadn't went to Game 7 and lost? If you ask me, no. The shot wouldn't have been as talked about as much if they had lost Game 7 because if they lost Game 7, they would have lost the NBA Finals. And then the narrative would have been LeBron can't get it done again. It would have, Especially for the Miami era, it would have just been known as the narrative would be, oh, LeBron can't beat a real team. Uh, full of real stars. He can only beat, all, beat up on a baby crew because, you know, people call that Thunder team the Baby Thunder, even though that Thunder team was ridiculous in 2012. But they called them the Baby Thunder. So then there that would have been that uh, bigger asterisk on LeBron's rings, as people like to say, because he would have lost to, uh, to the Mavericks in 2011, who were a veteran team who beat the back-to-back -to -back defending champion Lakers in that same playoff series. Um, or not series, but playoff year, I mean. And then the next year, he wins against a baby team. So that would have been a narrative if they had lost against the doggone uh, Spurs in 2013 in Game 7. And then let's read the stats in Game 7. So Kawhi Leonard had 19-6 and six, and 16. Mount Ginobili, 18, 5, and 3. Again, Tim Duncan being legendary, 24 points and 12 rebounds. Uh, Tony Parkin gave them 10 points, too. Oh, but let's read out the stats for Game 7 for LeBron and everybody else. 
D Wade, 23 and 10. LeBron James, 37, 4 and 12. I'm reading one more time. 37, 4 and 12 in a game seven of the NBA Finals. Mario Chalmers had 14 points. And Ray Allen, who played 19 minutes and 54 seconds, had a donut in a game seven. Oh, and Shane Battier had dropped 18 points. So, guys, please, let's come to the realization that this shot didn't save LeBron's legacy. Let's not overrate this shot. Let's not act like Ray Allen didn't have a terrible game seven the very next game after he made a legendary shot. Please, okay? They all played well. <laughs> Please, they all played well. Because if they didn't win game seven, if LeBron didn't have a, if the big three really didn't have a monster game, let's just be honest. If they didn't have a monster game, this shot would not be talked about as much. And it definitely would have had a narrative of LeBron's career being saved or legacy being saved. So let's cut it out. Please, please cut it out because it doesn't make sense. Stop it.